Serious questions tonight about this investigation surrounding Preston Lord, the 16 year old boy beaten at a Halloween party who later died. No arrests, no formal charges, and Queen Creek's top cop not answering any questions in this investigation. And as more time goes by, people throughout the community, they want to know, was this case flawed from the start? Why is there no arrest and why has it been this long that there's nothing? Like there's nothing what it, it, it leads to so much suspicion. We get more tonight from ABC 15 investigator Nicole Grigg. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office has already said publicly that Queen Creek has loose ends to tie up. So it raises the question, is that why we still have not seen charges or arrests yet? It's now been 25 days with little to no answers since charges were referred. 86 days since Preston Lord was attacked, 84 days since his family was forced to say goodbye. And since then, there have been no answers and more questions for those who want justice. What's your biggest question? Why no arrest right now? That's my biggest thing. Why are they still out on the streets? It was on October 30th, the family the first to share about Preston's attack. A Valley teen assaulted at a Halloween party. Queen Creek Police now confirming this is a homicide investigation. From the start, Queen Creek Police saying very little about the fact a teen was dead. Their first call to the public for help was a short post on social media two days after the attack, asking for help finding video where people at a party with just a map. From the start, neighbors who live near the party questioning the response by police. No one has come to any of our houses. No one has asked any of us for video footage, let us know what happened. We learned through social media, it sounds like someone in our neighborhood saw the GoFundMe post by his family. Four days after the attack is when Queen Creek Police Chief Randy Bryce stood in front of cameras and finally confirmed Preston's death to the public. Our focus is conducting an investigation that's thorough and that brings justice to Preston. This would be the last time Chief Bryce took questions from the press. Since then, no arrests. Late December, police referred charges for seven people, but no one knows what those charges are. At least tell us the charges. What, what are they being charged with? You don't have to tell us the names because they're out, out right now. Right. But tell us what the charges are. There is a huge disconnect. We sat down with former homicide prosecutor Josh Kohlschrude, who worked for the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. He questions how this case is being handled. And from his experience, questions why it's taking this long to move forward. If uh, the, the Maricopa County was going to charge the case, they would have done so already. Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell saying very little, citing the open investigation. They have 2,000 pieces of evidence to go through. Josh points out that the prosecutor on a case this high profile should know all the evidence as it's coming in. They're covering from themselves. Uh, that's just not true. Uh, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office has been involved with this case from day one. Uh, there isn't a single piece of evidence, there's not a single interview that they don't already know about. Uh, they are the, you know, the quarterback of the investigation, uh, they're in charge, uh, they know everything that's going on. What does it say to you the fact that there are no arrests despite these charges being referred on December 28th? It tells me that the investigation was sloppy from the very beginning. Queen Creek Police Chief Bryce won't take our questions. We have sent emails trying to get an understanding of the dynamics between Queen Creek Police and the county attorney. We asked for dates of when they met. We want to know if the county attorney knew the referral was coming. Josh says for evidence to just be brought in to sift through would be an amateur move for a police department. The fact that they would do this they're saying that, you know, we don't want to have the responsibility anymore, the public pressure. Uh, we want everybody to be focusing on Maricopa County. And that's not good for this case. Uh, it creates disharmony between the detectives and the prosecutors. Last week, Chief Bryce gave a public update at a town council meeting where he acknowledged there's still more work to do. At the forefront of every day, every weekend, every long night, we are focused on making sure that we get this case to where it needs to be. He would not take any questions, leaving early out a side door. As for County Attorney Mitchell, she says she only has one chance to get this right. The ABC 15 investigators asking her if 
she feels the case was sent to her to take the pressure off Queen Creek police. No, I mean, this is an ongoing process and it was helpful to us that it came to us so that we could review it, even though they are still wrapping up some loose ends. But as more time goes by and the loose ends remain, people in the community questioning if the case was flawed from the start. There's answers that we need them. There are a lot of questions right now that we know can't be answered, like have police interviewed the suspects? Do they have video of the actual attack? Are there witnesses who can positively ID those responsible? Since police are not talking, we have put in requests for several public records into Preston Lord's case to get answers for you. As of last week, we were told there are still no records that can be released. I'm investigator Nicole Grigg. ABC 15, Arizona. Nicole Essential reporting there. Thank you. Meantime, Queen Creek Police told us today reiterated arrests are coming as the case is still under review.